Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, for today's lesson, we're going to color in the Tasmanian Devil. Uh, he's one of my favorite Looney Tune characters. And I had a little sketch of him, so I thought that would be something fun to do. Uh, one of the things I did this time is I spent a little extra time cleaning up the drawing. So hopefully this one will go smoother. Usually these videos last about an hour. But hopefully I can save you a little bit of time with this one. Uh, so let's get started. We'll pick this light brown and use our fill tool. And as you can see, it's not quite perfect, but it's filling in a lot better than normal. So let's go to this light yellow. And we're going to edit this a little bit. Uh, let's bring it down here. There we go. Kind of a darker skin tone uh, for around his mouth. Once again, we'll fill that in there. Looks like a nice little contrast between the two colors. Uh, and let's drop in some gray. Pick the darker shade of gray for his eyebrows. And let's get uh, let's get a uh, more of a skin tone for his inside of his ears. Make it there we go. And we use the fill tool again. Okay, and for his nose we'll just start off with black. Looks like I should have spent a little extra time there. And for eyes, this is a little too red for my taste, so I'm going to try to make this a little more brown. There we go. That's a better shade. And we'll plug that in, plug that in. Okay, now... Let's just start off with our normal outline that we do around uh, characters. Excuse me for that noise. I just dropped over an empty soda can. Wanted to have something to drink before starting these videos. And just a little outline along his arm there. We'll do the same on the other side. Let me zoom in. Okay. And let's hook it in there. We can come back with that outline afterwards, a black outline to uh, add that one line back in. But we're just going to try to go fast. Given up on these videos lasting less than an hour, but we can still try to do it as quickly as possible. Now here I'm just adding a little shadow for uh, this fur that's overhanging his shoulder I'm gonna add a little shading into this I don't know this tough of fur I guess we'll call it and just outline your lines just like normal A lot of the stuff we're doing is just going to be very basic, just like we've done in the other videos. Hopefully I'll have some cooler ideas coming up soon, but just as we get acclimated to doing this more and more, we'll just start off with that. Just the basics. Keep practicing. And that way it'll be second nature by the time we move on to something different. OK, 
Okay. Trace out this line here. Again, we can come back and fix that black line. Same with this one. Like I said in previous videos, I'm trying to do a little research on some of these characters. I know I didn't do that with uh, the last video, but uh, when I was looking up stuff on the Tasmanian Devil, I had forgotten when he first came out, he was actually a villain. And it wasn't until later that they turned him into a good guy because he was so popular. <clears throat> In fact, at one point, the the writers, or the head of the studio that makes the Looney Tunes, they didn't like the character so much that they actually banned him. And I forget exactly how long, I believe it was for three years, that... And the writers and animators were told not to put this character on the show. But when they stopped putting him on, he was so popular with the viewers that viewers kept writing in, begging for him to come back. And that's how they got him back on TV, it was actually the viewers. And like usual, we're just going along our black lines here. So keep that in mind, what I was just saying about uh, people writing in. If you happen to be watching a show and you really like a character and they don't appear anymore, <coughs> you should try to reach out and see if sending a letter will help get them back on the show. And there we go. Let's switch back to this darker brown. And I'm going to go a little bolder with this line. And I'll move this over here. <coughs> okay, we'll go to our fill tool. And we'll clean that up. I'm going to make this, a, we made this a little bit bolder just because this is the bottom. We want to add that little shadow area to them. Okay, we got that. And similar, we just want to make this a little bit bold. Small area, so I'm just going to fill it in with the brush rather than flip back to the fill tool. Okay, now we have his thumb overhanging the leg there, so let's give that a bit of a shadow. OK, 
Okay. Kind of make it like the we're continuing that shadow, even though the hand isn't directly over his leg. there as I've mentioned before when I think I'm gonna need a color for kind of an eraser like I did in this case I just make it color number two which is right here and then you can right click on your mouse Or, as always, you could hit uh, Control V, uh, not Control V, Control Z, excuse me. I don't know why I always mix those two up. Control V is for pasting things, Control Z is for undoing things. Control V we're going to get to soon enough. That's one of the ideas that that's actually another quick way to uh, change color number two. You get your eyedropper tool and rather than left click you right click. That way I can just fill that in a little bit. Just tracing our black lines. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. A simple little technique. This adds another dimension to your character. Let's take a zoom out, see how he's looking so far. Okay, not too shabby. Let's zoom back in. Make this line a little bit bolder. When I zoomed out, I couldn't really see the difference. It was there, but very minor. I'd like him to stand out a little bit and with my right mouse spun in. Just gonna clean up that line. Okay, let's move over to this side. Right mouse spun in. Okay. Let's start tracing this out. I'm just going to take a moment just to make this canvas a little bit bigger. There we go. And I did that just for uh, when I zoom in. In past videos, sometimes the picture gets so large that it's outside the, the viewing area of where I'm recording on my screen. So this will allow us to follow along with one another. 
Get some extra room. Back to my brush. And again, we're just putting a little bit of a shadow there on his calf. Do an outline of this black line. Hey, I am not doing too well of avoiding hitting those lines. Perhaps it's I'm trying to go too fast. Okay, I'm right clicking, clean up around here, around the black line. I know I'm coming back with that darker brown, so I'm not as concerned as I was with the middle of the foot there. And since I'm rushing, I just want to put out the reminder. If you need some extra time, just pause the video at any point. Take your time. Don't be rushed. Have fun. Enjoy everything. And then just when you're ready to continue, just click play again. The video will be right there. Okay, we're going to scroll up a little bit, and let's put in some shadows here for his hand. Okay, with that. Yeah, I am doing terrible with not hitting the black line, but it's okay. I'll creep around here and just clean that up. Okay. Now, for this part of the thumb. Okay. Let's do a little trace along the hand here. Again, I hit that black line. As always, as you wrap everything up, you're going to want to go back over those black lines. Make them stand out. So... Although we ideally would like to stay within the lines, if you go over it is no big deal. Okay, let's scroll up a little bit here. That may be a little too bold. I'll zoom. Ah, let's, let's trim it just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Totally hit the Jiminy Cricket. Uh, 
And I keep hitting those darn lines today. It is not my day. But that's okay. Now what did I do on this side? Okay, I did an outline there too. Let's go up a little bit. this out. And you're just making the outlines. A little bit of a shadow here for where his armpit would be. <clears throat> Excuse me for clearing my throat. The Coca Cola and the syrup in it got to me a little bit. Okay, once again, we're going to put a little shadow here for his fur let's clean up that and let's take a zoom out see how he's looking okay not too shabby it looks like he needs some work here so I'm right clicking Clean up these lines. I'm not quite doing an outline over in this section yet. The reason is we're going to try to give his fur a little bit of depth. To do that, we're going to okay stand out a little bit and just like a triangle well almost like a triangle and now we'll do the top here I wasn't planning on doing that when I started this drawing and it looks like it might work Okay, let's right click that. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit, do some cleanup work here. I'm right clicking. Okay, and them over a little bit so you can all see and we're just going to mimic what we did there these small little triangles I'm definitely going to have to come in with the black line there and Okay, do we do that on the other side there? 
Some gun. Okay, we got that. We'll clean this up here. Right clicking. I still got that light shade of brown there. That's number two. And let's do that. Okay, so let's make these eyes a little more solid, and I'm just going to trace in there. Again, hitting my black lines, but at this point I've kind of given up. I have hit them so many times. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use color number two, uh, not as an eraser, but I have this light brown as a shade. And... Go. Okay, gives his eyes a little more depth. Let's go to black now. And just try to draw him pupil here. Okay, and let's see, let's go with this light gray, we'll add a little bit there, add a little bit there, and now for the brown part of the eye, we do right click this, we're going to make a custom color, and we're going to make that a little bit lighter, and from where this little light gray dot is. Let's go down and just continue it to the end of the brown there. And it looks like we got some nice coloring in his eyes. Let's go back to black here. Fill in his nose. Actually, pretty happy with how those eyes came out there. They look pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, let's take this darker gray. We're going to make it a little bit darker. I want it to stand out enough, but still add some shading there. And let's go up a little bit lighter. Let's see, how does this look? Okay. And we're just making smaller circles within his nose. We go a little bit lighter. This part's fairly easy. Just keep coming up with lighter shades. We're get, eh, we'll do one more. Okay. So his nose looks pretty good there. I'm going to go back and I'm going to pick this light gray. Like usual, I like to put a little bit of a light gray right at the end of the eyes. We're going to come back with a lighter shade just to make that blend a little bit better. And I think I lost my color there, so I'll just take from the tip of the nose. 
That was not what I was looking for. Uh, let me pick this. A little bit lighter. That should work perfect. It just kind of gives his eyes more of a round effect. So let's go to around his mouth. We're going to pick this color. And for our outline and some shadow areas, let's make it a little bit darker. There we go. Okay. We want the nose to stand out a little bit. Just another interesting thing, let me zoom out, one of the things I pointed out on previous drawings, and it's starting to look uh, pretty universal with a lot of cartoon characters, is the shape of a heart. You can see in a lot of them, regardless of the animal that they're based on, they all have that little heart shape in there. I don't know. I'm assuming at this point it's something intentional, but uh, it was just pretty interesting when I noticed that. And as I looked at different characters, whether it was their face or their body, I was finding that to be a very common thing. Uh, let's make that a nice bold line. Don't know, maybe uh, drawing the characters with heart shapes makes them more endearing to people. I couldn't say for certain. But it looks like a sound theory. Now, that line went a little too wonky. I don't want it there, so... There we go. Go back to this. Let's here. Okay, now we're doing that line of his snout. Seems to be coming together pretty well. And we'll just do minor outlines here. I don't think we need to outline this full area around the mouth. We'll find out in just a moment. And I hit both mouse buttons, and that under is the, the paint stroke you were making. If you've watched any previous videos, you know that is a flaw of mine. Do that often. Let's get my well, number, color number two eraser. That line gunning away from me. Okay, let's this so. Uh, Highlight. Wow, I just totally covered that up. Yeah. Let me put that black line back in there. <coughs> and one of the cool things is, see how uh, thick this line is? 
If I go back here, I can kind of trim up the edges, make it a little more smooth. Let's give them Give it a finer point. Let's zoom out. Okay, that's looking okay. Let's zoom back in. And now let's add a little bit of reflection. So, make it a bit lighter. That should be light enough to stand out. And just like before, I have uh, number color number two here. I want to clean that up, give it more of a fine tip point. Just right click and use color number two. Do the same thing here. There, let's give this snout a little bit of color here. Now I'm not sure whether it'll be better to have two circles or one. I was debating that before we started. I'm going to start with Two ovals. We'll see how that looks in just a moment. And if we don't like it, we can undo those. And just put one right in the center. Let's... I think that looks okay. Uh, I might come back around with that outline though here. So, let's zoom back in. make this a little bit thicker increasing the brush size I still have that tone for my color number two. So I can use it as my easy eraser. And we'll trim that down a little bit. Okay. And right clicking just so I can clean up that line here. Click. Okay. And now let's give him a bottom lip. And we're just kind of tracing along. Just keeping it underneath. Same shape. Okay, let's make this a little bit darker. And we'll go back to brush number two. Okay, with our 
color dropper. Bring it back. Make it smoother. And now let's go back to this bigger brush and right click and make those edges a little more fine tuned. Okay. Scroll up here, get our super light color. And let's give him a little bit of reflection on his lip there. Right clicking. Okay, to zoom out 100%. Okay, he is coming along. Um, okay, now before we move up to the top of the head, let's zoom back in. And pick this pink, or the dropper tool, or the fill tool, I'm sorry. That, that, that. That way we got his tongue and his gums. And we'll go back to brush number two. Make this a little bit darker. There we go. It's looking a little bright there. I didn't care for that initial shade that we got. Just tracing along the top of the tongue. Let's do a little trace down here. And in between the teeth, put some lines in there. Go make them all along the shape of the bottom shape of the tooth. Okay, I'm going to trace that out. And I'm just going to fill that in with dark. Same there. And as always, and especially for a character like the Tasmanian Devil, we're going to give him a little bit of yellow teeth. Tasmanian Devil eats basically everything, including garbage. Switch it over there. More outside the lines. this up a little bit and let's make this a little bit darker now and do the great thing there is we have a lot of black already outlining so even when I hit the lines like I've been doing all video there's plenty of black to keep that contrast and this shade isn't too different from the original one. But I like to have the two shades for most things. 
Okay. A little swig of water. And again, I'm trying to rush through this. Take your time. Take your time and enjoy filling this in. Let me zoom out. Okay, he's starting to come together. So, now similar to what we did around the mouth, we're going to add in some lighter shades here into the body before we move to the top of the head and finish the eyebrows. So, let's get our eye drop tool. We'll pick this brown and we're going to make it lighter. Okay. And I'm going to add a little circle here. Okay. Let's add a little shade of that here. And we'll do it. A similar thing at the top of the shoulder. We're not quite at the outline, but pretty close. Okay, let's move down to this forearm here. Do another. Circle. Let's build this in. Funny when you zoom in, sometimes it looks like you're totally messing up your drawing. When you zoom out from a distance, then it looks cool. Hopefully, that'll be the case here. My only concern right now is maybe we went too light with this reflection color. But if so, we'll be able to fix that and Lickety split. That'll be a very quick fix. Okay, let's move over here. We don't want to hit our shadow there. So. Just look at that as it is. to his forearm. And these circles or ovals, just want them to go along with the shape of the arm or the shape of the body part that you're adding it to. Okay, up a little bit, let's put highlight here, and we'll do another one. Let's zoom out, see how it's looking. Looks okay. Um, we could go a tad darker with those reflections, so we still have that color up, so let's make it a little bit darker. Add that. Okay, now we're going to go to our fill. And you just fill in these circles that you made. 
Yeah, that looks like it'll come out better. Okay, that, yeah, that looks better. Yeah, let's go to the top of the head now. And first we'll do the eyebrows. So as normal, I've filled up all my custom colors, so I'm just going to select that with the brush and make a new custom color. And make that a little bit darker. It's kind of similar to what we did here, making these triangles to come out a little bit. And just uh, give it a little more detail. Let's go uh, shade darker. And okay. Let's see now. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Actually, let me just zoom back in. What I'm gonna do is a small trace here. right down in the eyebrow okay go back to shades here brush number two and here I'm going to try to be careful because I like how those eyes came out really don't want to go over them. There we go. And do an outline here. And let's get that darker shade. Go back to number one. Okay, we got it there. And this part's just a little bit of drawing. Soon we're going to do more and more drawing with this program, but for now, just a little bit here and there. And I just want to clean up that line. Perfect. <coughs> okay, so now let's go and get this dark shade of brown. And what I want to do, again, we're just doing a little bit of drawing here. We'll start up there. And I'm going to right click so I have my little eraser there. Trace over that part of the nose. And we're just kind of highlighting his eyebrows.
Uh, there, I can tell my mouse who is about to slip. Okay, right click. I can clean up this line. Although, really, when you come back in with your black lines, you can clean that up as well. Okay. Nice fold in his forehead. And while we're here, let's steal that light color that we liked for the reflection. Okay, a little bit there. Now we're going to add in a shadow for this tough of fur here. Let me go back to this darker brown. I'm going to do Control Z to undo. There we go. Get that a little bit closer. A little too far out the last time. Now, that. Okay. And right clicking. Hold. There we go. That line there. Outline. Another outline. But we're almost right at the end. Okay, do an outline of his ears here. Wow, totally over those black lines. Okay, we got that. <coughs> That one, I'm going to have to do control C. That one was messy, but we can clean that up. I don't know if my hand is tired or if my mouse is acting up. But these lines have not been very steady. Do our outline here. There. And let's push this down a little bit further. We'll clean that up in just a second. Yeah, at this point I'm blaming my mouse. Because it is acting up. Okay, now I'm going to come in. Make that a little bit finer. Okay, that's... that's tough to pair. That one was not... That was nothing else's fault. That was mine.
And as you can see, I'm trying to mimic what we did on those cheeks there. Tuft of hair making that come out a little bit. And <clears throat> and let's go. Let's get that lighter shade. And we'll add a little bit of that here. A little bit there and we're just tracing that shape and we can add in a little bit more because that's a little bit bigger now I'll get my eyedropper tool okay Let's get to the ears. We're not going to do too much here. We're just going to put a little bit of a fold in the ear. Okay. Same here. Let me make that correctly. Just. And go along the shape. Okay, let's zoom out, see how he's looking. Okay, he's looking pretty cool. Uh, if I do say so myself. Now there's a couple areas where let me try to punch in some black lines. We're not gonna do all of them. Just some that really stand out. Now for your drawing I would recommend taking the time making sure you have all your lines the way you want them to be. But, like I said, I want to try to save you some time with this video. Try to let me come back here. thing and the mouse keeps getting wonky so I'm not getting the best lines that I would like scroll down and fix this one up this okay I'm gonna zoom back out okay and how we had moved uh, or expanded the canvas all you gotta do is move your cursor over to the end you get the double arrows have it right in now just take your time, go back, uh, make sure I'm going to clean up this foot down here. This one was zoomed out, I could tell, didn't look that great. And the mouse keeps jumping on me. 
Maybe it's time for a new one, but don't have it tonight. And one of the things I do recommend is just keep jumping back to 100%. Uh, you get a better idea of what the total picture is, where you really have to focus on zooming in and cleaning up. But for now, I am pretty pleased with this. Like I said, take your time with your black lines, re-adding them in there. Uh, I should have some new content up later this week. Uh, the description for the original file is in the description below, and I will see you soon, and until then, keep on